Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my coupon binder organization and getting ready for next week's deals. So the first thing I'm going to go through is just my coupon binder setup. So I have this binder. I believe I got it on clearance from Walmart probably at least a couple years ago. I'm not a big fan of this style. I actually need to get a different binder because I don't like the rings that kind of just slide together. They tend to just come apart as you'll see as I'm flipping through. But I have this binder, so I'm just gonna open up. So the first thing you're gonna see is my pencil pouch. I like to put some scissors, my extra receipts, as well as my pencil or pen, just to make sure that I can write down some deals if I'm in store. Um, so then I also have my CVS ad for the current week. I like to keep a copy of that just in case I need to go back through and see if there's some other deals I might can do throughout the week. Now the biggest reason I like to keep my previous receipts is just so I can flip back through and see some of the regular priced items that I've gotten. So if I see a deal that I might need to do this week, I can look back at some of my receipts and see exactly what they cost in my store. So then I also have a notebook in here. I like to write down while I'm in store if there's some prices or just something that can help me keep track of my running total while I'm in store. And then the very next page is gonna be my extra care book. Now I actually have two separate cards. One is my personal card and then the other is my mother's. So I like to write on each of my extra care rewards exactly what card they're for. That way I don't get them mixed up in store. Now throughout the binder, I'm using these clear baseball card dividers. These are excellent. You guys can pick them up from Walmart, Amazon, really just about anywhere that sells office supplies. But then I like to have my cards separated. So the next divider is gonna be for my personalized coupons for one card. And then the very next one is gonna be the other card. Now another good tip I would highly recommend you guys doing if you're using these dividers is writing the expiration date of your coupons on the face of the, the coupons. That way you guys can just flip through and know exactly which ones are expired and not have to pull every single one of them out. So now after my personalized coupons, I have my dividing areas. Now one thing I do like to do with my manufacturer coupons, since they're so small, is I like to put these colored pieces of paper in each of the inserts. That way they can be doubled so I can have a coupon on the front as well as a coupon on the back and they won't get mixed up and it's easy to see. So now my first area I have divided is my household supplies and baby supplies. And then moving on to my next set divided area, it's gonna be all of my personal like makeup coupons, my facial care coupons, and I also have my feminine products and oral care in this divider. Now in the next section, it's gonna be my razors and shave cream or shave purchase products, as well as my hair care products and lotions and all of my body care items together. That way it's easier for me when I'm in store on those certain aisles, I can just flip straight to this area and I've got all of my coupons ready. And this section is gonna be all of my medicine, my vitamins, my muscle rubs, anything that is medical related, it's all gonna be in the next section. And now the very final section I have is for my food items. Now I normally don't save a lot of coupons that I get for food, only because I don't really tend to see ones that I actually use and need. So I like to put what I find in there. And then the very last area is my foldered area. It's gonna have all of my coupon inserts that I haven't quite yet been able to clip or to cut out yet. So once I get through all of this, I'm gonna go back and cut those out. 
And again, if you guys are just now setting up a coupon binder or a system, I would highly recommend not having too many different dividing sections because it kind of gets confusing. But once I've gone through all of my coupons, I'm going to go to my coupons.com app, print some of my manufacturer printable coupons. That way I can go ahead and put those in my binder. So I'm just walking you guys through just a real quick way of pulling up the app and scrolling through and finding what printable coupons you guys want to print. So now once you've done all of your printable coupons on coupons.com, I like to pull up my Safari and go to cvs.com slash coupons. Now you can do this both on your phone or on your computer, whichever is hooked up to your printer, but you go to a coupon or slash coupons and that's gonna pull up another option for you guys to print some printable coupons. Now one thing I do wanna mention is while you're on this area, at the bottom of your coupons, it's gonna show you if it's a CVS related coupon or if it's just a normal manufacturer coupon. So as you see, I'm showing you guys just how it says CVS Pharmacy at the very bottom of the coupon. Those are coupons that you can only use at CVS. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out all of my manufacturer coupons from the inserts I haven't yet cut and putting those into my binder. Alrighty, so now that I have gotten all of my printable coupons and manufacturer coupons all cut out and ready, I'm going to go back through my binder and pull out any of my expired coupons. So this is both my manufacturer coupons that are expired as well as any of my printable coupons that are expired. I like to take those out that way I don't get confused when I'm trying to create my new deals. So now another great outlet you guys can check out if you have a lot of expired coupons is going to be through couponcabin.com. They have an address that you guys can send your expired coupons as long as they're under the 60 day limit. They have the address where we can send these to them and they will deliver them to troops or military families because the military families are able to use expired coupons, I believe, on base as well as long as they are under 60 days expired. So I'll leave a description down below of the address you guys can send those to. That way you won't miss out. And finally, since I've got all of my coupons organized and separated in my binder, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my CVS ad preview. So you guys can go onto your Google or web browser and just type in CVS ad preview for whatever week you're looking for. I tend to go to iHeartCVS.com. They are a great website that shows all kinds of different ads. That way you guys can see what deals are coming. Now, CVS itself does not release the ad for the next week until, I believe, Thursday of the current week. So I like to go ahead, pull that up, look through, try and match any of my personalized coupons with some deals that are going, and see if there's any manufacturer coupons that I can pair with that. And that's where having that little journal or notebook in the front of your binder comes in handy. That way you guys can just go through, try and make some deals for yourself, write them down. I like to separate mine out by my deals that I know I'm going to do up top. And then at the bottom, I'll put deals to look out for to see if I get coupons for or whatnot. 
so then I write those down there. But I hope this video has helped you guys with some organization ideas for your coupons. If it has, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button, and go check out some of my other videos right here.